Nothing more classic about a Canadian winter than the game of shinny. We're at the second annual Toronto Pond Hockey Festival. This is all in support of the Eric the Red Rowing League for Kids, a great initiative that partners at-risk youth with Toronto Police, learning the sport of rowing. Dominic Kahn is the founder. Uh, you're a, a coach of rowing. You've been doing this for decades, so you're very passionate about it. But let's talk a little bit about what's going on here today. So this is the corporate challenge, and this yeah. is to provide seed money for that wonderful initiative in the summer. Explain how this works for the month. So basically, um, each weekend, so next weekend, family day weekend, and last weekend, um, we've got the little tournaments, one day tournaments, and then on the Thursday the 20th, we have another corporate challenge. So Tuesday the 11th, and uh, Thursday the 20th, so companies can come on out. Um, family teams and kids teams on family day, and regular beer league uh, men's and co-eds and women's teams uh, on the Saturday, Sunday. Saturday the 22nd sold out, but the uh, 15th, 16th, as well as the 23rd has spots open. And you can get that information www.torontopondhockey.ca. It'll all be on my Facebook page here. Should point out, they have a heated tent, they have poutine, which is uh, great to warm up the belly. We've been indulging in that. And again, all of this, uh, in terms of the registration fee, will help what you do in the summertime. Explain a little bit about Eric the Red Rowing League. First of all, the name. Yeah. Where did that come from? So Eric the Red came because uh, Leif Erikson discovered Canada and Newfoundland Lonzo Meadows. And his dad was Eric the Red, and Leif Erikson was a rower. So his, he's the father of rowing. So Eric the Red Rowing League. And yeah. those ships that you use, the boats yeah. that kids use, also come? From Scandinavia and uh, Finland and the big rowing over there in Finland, so it just meshed, it, it worked really well. And you've had much success. I mean, you've been doing this for, for, for 20 years in terms of this particular initiative, yep. uh, over 5,000 kids. Give me a success story. So one of our big success stories, I'm a kid growing up in um, uh, Lawrence Market, co-op housing, uh, got a scholarship to Princeton University, PhD, now she's uh, assistant curator at the AGO, you know, really great story. Isn't that something? And the whole idea about rowing, uh, traditionally it was looked upon as perhaps something for the more privileged, totally. uh, but the beauty of it is that it's not your natural ability, it's your discipline, right? Totally, it's hard work, yeah, like anything, so once you get get onto it, um, you put your nose to the grindstone, you can you gain the skills, that's why we're going to start from young. And this is uh, just an amazing opportunity. You can help out, www.tronoponhockey.ca. Time for me to go on and help some of the corporate teams. Hope to see you down there. Thanks for checking out my online adventure. Have yourself a great day, and we'll see you live on CTV News. Okay, where's my stick?